Let's start with just a sentence or two about what this gun is all about. What makes it different? Oh, so we essentially make a smart rifle. Okay, we take a normal rifle and normal ammunition, and we put a we integrate it with technology that allows someone to be able to make more accurate shots, allows them to stream video of those shots and collaborate with them, and allows them to, to actually download and share recorded videos of them. Tell us how that works with your gun. So because we're able to, basically, we're able to integrate several technologies, right? One is we have a networks tracking scope that has a series of sensors in it. It has laser range finders, which give you an exact range. It has temperature and pressure sensors. It has an inertial measurement unit in it. And what that does is it's a collection of gyroscopes, magnetometers, and accelerometers that allow the scope to know its orientation in space because angular orientation is important from a ballistics perspective. Um, and the scope actually also tracks the target. So you can place a, a, a lock on your target. It will persistently track that target as it moves, and it will give you the velocity of that target up to 10 miles an hour and allow you to make that shot on that target while it's moving. In addition to the network tracking scope, we also, also have the guided trigger. So the way a shooter shoots is he designates a target and it places a persistent red dot on the place where that shooter wants to shoot. If he doesn't like it, he presses his tag button again to clear it, and he continues to tag until he gets the dot he wants. He, uh, at, once that dot is placed, he immediately sees a blue X. That blue X represents the immediate ballistic calculation. When he wants to arm the system, he squeezes and holds the trigger. That turns the X red. So when, the system will only fire when the red X and the red dot are perfectly aligned. So if he ever wants to abandon the shot, he just releases the trigger. It goes back to blue X, red dot, won't fire. What precautions are you taking to ensure that these don't get into the wrong hands, especially as your community, community grows? Well, I mean, we have an application process for every gun, and every gun goes through the federal, state, and local level background checks that are supposed to happen. You know, state by state, they differ, but every sale is made through a federally uh, licensed firearm dealer. Um, in addition, we give the owner a option to passcode his scope. What that allows him to do is when he is storing it, he can put a passcode in just like he has on his phone that allows him to lock out the advanced functionality of that scope. So it gives him the ability to, to put an extra check in um, for when he, you know, in case it gets stolen or in case he feels that it'll somehow be uh, out of his control. I mean, is there concern, you know, that obviously that this could get into the wrong hands, you know, and the technology being so accurate as it is that it could do some damage, more damage than perhaps what it was intended for, obviously. Well, it, it's the firearms, like we are integrating our technology with, exist in the marketplace today. They exist in people's hands today. So it's a bolt action firearm. It is no different than any of the other firearms already out there. We're just allowing a person to maximize the potential of what that firearm can do. Outside of your target audience, you know, the, the hunting community, what type of reception have you received? You know, for example, coming here to the Bay Area, mm -hmm. you know, which is not probably as maybe gun friendly as Austin, Texas. How are people receiving this type of weapon? Well, so we find that people who don't like guns are not necessarily gonna like our type of gun any more than they don't like all the other guns. So, um, you know, I, that's an understandable viewpoint. Um, it is what it is. We find the people who do like guns um, and have, have all have admitted, hey, that's pretty amazing technology. Some of them have said, this is not for me. Outside of the shooting community, from people who are not necessarily, you know, uh, happy about guns, they have to accept the fact that this is not a, I didn't do anything with, different with the gun. What we've done is use technology to make that gun more effective to make the experience of those shooters who they already don't agree with a better experience. You know, when it comes to a music player, you do want things to be easy, but mm -hmm. is there a danger that it might be too easy for something like a powerful weapon? Well, it's not a danger that it can be too easy from a perspective of the people with every experience, people want it to be something that's easy and it's intuitive to them, right? So whether it's snowboarding or basketball or any, any outdoor experience, everybody wants to have the information that they need at the right time to make the right decision to be successful at that endeavor. We were very careful to be, you know, to be sensitive to the political environment, but at the same time to emphasize the technology like a consumer electronics show to be able to say, hey, look, I understand whatever your beliefs may be and whatever your, your politics are with respect to firearms, we, we're here to showcase the technology.